Welcome back. We've been talking all about Mother's Day today, but May is also Asian Heritage Month. So Chef Trevor is back to help us recognize and celebrate through a lesson on dim sum. This is the best way we could celebrate, I think. So tell us a little bit about how dim sum came to be and the importance of it. Dim sum, uh, you know, in Hong Kong, southern China, it's generally done at breakfast or brunch. Yeah. In North America, we've adopted it throughout the day, late night, partying with friends, mm -hmm. you go for dim sum. But for us, great time to get together, Mother's Day, birthdays, yeah. let's go for dim sum. We actually don't say let's go for dim sum, we actually say let's go yum cha, which means to drink tea. Okay, yeah. all right. So it's a it's a version of doing the tea with all of the foods. You got and it. it's I mean, where do all the dim sum foods come from that you have here today? And is it still the traditional way that it's been done in the past, which is like you it's a la carte, right? It's a la carte for the most part. We don't have the staff that pushes the carts around screaming the food out. Yeah. In fact, there's ro that. there's robots now. Like <laughs> I don't if you like go robots. up to Casa de Luz where my friend Alex helped us with this dim sum. That's a place nice. where we go to as a family for dinner and dim sum. Yeah. There's a robot that shows up and stops Ooh, at your table waiting for you to take the food off and put it onto your table. I would it's be a like, weird. you go. You go. Go, get yeah. out of here. I, wanna, I don't want a human being. But it's really nice that at least we're still doing it. I mean, it's contemporary now, but walk us through what you have on this so, beautiful board there, So Trev. the term dim sum, when we, um, when we define it and, and translate it, dim sum means touch of the heart, Aww. right? So it's like little bites of morsels That's of nice. things that we share on a Lazy Susan. Yeah. Uh, we've got this set on this amazing board that my friend Emilio made for me. This is reclaimed, so we don't make our boards with anything that we cut down, but he yes. made this board just so we can show this today. That's so nice. we're going from, we got sweet and savory. Mm -hmm. Dim sum is generally a mix of three things. Steamed, mm -hmm. pan fried, wok fried, a yes. little bit of deep fried. Yes. This is a dessert, this is a sesame ball. My daughter loves these, she always, always wants this. Mm -hmm. My dad and I generally will fight because <laughs> we, we don't order like, you don't order one of every one. So it's like, if no. it's a table of 10, you'll order like two plates of egg tarts yes. and there'll be four. Yes. And so you really got, there's a lot of maneuvering so at the table. you do have to fight. There's you a lot of maneuvering. It it's a lot of uh, understanding the use of chopsticks and yes. how to get at things it's from like, certain get angles. Out of my way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're a Chinese mom, like my mom, you will yeah. generally carry food scissors in your purse. Okay. And she does a very good thing of portioning the yes. food so everyone can have a little bit of the turnip cake. Because if it was me, good. I would take the entire plate and eat it myself. Absolutely. This is what we call wu gok. Okay. Amazing. This is taro on the inside with some Ooh. minced meat. We talk about dim sum being a very skilled trade. Yeah. I wouldn't make any of this stuff. It's so hard. It's Maybe hard. a meatball, but even the meatballs we make, you know, this is a steamed meatball with yeah. bean curd, some vegetables on the inside, and generally some mushy peas. And then we would garnish it with, I, can you say the word Worcestershire? Worcestershire. 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 Sauce? Worcestershire. There you go, Worcestershire. We'll have a, a clay pot rice. That looks good. There's different good. versions. This one, cooked in a clay pot, it's got Chinese sausage in it mm -hmm. with some vegetables and rice. Yeah. And then you talk about British influence. Yeah. Meat pie. So this is, uh, this is cha siu, yeah. which is barbecue pork. And then we have this is a chicken pie. Oh, nice. In Chinese, oh. we call it gai pai, which means chicken pie. Pie, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh boy, here Ooh. we go. Yeah. The stars of the show, right? Everyone yes. talks about hagao siu mai. Hagao is your shrimp one. Yeah. Look at the ones that Alex and his team made. They're so big they're, and they're juicy. Pretty. And then we've got the siu mai. Oops. Yep. Which is shrimp and pork with uh, a little bit of caviar on top. Oh. I'm going to give you this one. They're a little squiggly. Yeah. Give, it's really hot, Trace. Oh. And then in here, okay. oh, to my grandpa because he loved this. My mom's dad. Yeah. This is... Uh, Got Chinese sausage in oh, it, so it's a bao good. as well. I'm gonna put that for you there. And then this is one of the most See popular that? ones, cha siu bao, which has got the barbecue pork on the inside. Just keep it coming, chef. Condiments, <laughs> condiments, we always can have. Can we talk about the condiments while we I We can, we always have bite? these two condiments, which mm -hmm. is called seung lat, which is double spice. Mm -hmm. So we've got chili paste and a hot mustard, which really likes to clear the nostrils or anything yep. else you're doing. And then you have to have tea. Yes, I do. So Chinese culture, when you're having dim sum, yeah. if someone pours you tea, you give a little tap on the table to say thank you. Mm. If you run out of water in your teapot, mm -hmm. you lift the lid and you just do that and the, the restaurant attendants will come by, grab the pot and fill your tea. Well, now I know. Now you know, right? Thank you so much for this. This has been amazing. Um, you've got your own tea line as well. So yes. I love the fact that we've talked about this and the significance of tea in Asian culture. Thank you so much, Chef. Thanks, Trace. Oh my God, it is so 